Hey YouTube, um, so this is going to be my not very informative um, Casablanca video. <laughs> and the reason I'm saying it's not going to be very informative is because um, like most or like all Muslim nations, um, obviously being gay is not acceptable. Um, a lot of them will even say that there is no gay people in any Arab country, which of course is ridiculous. Um, but, you know, whatever. Um, and as such, I really don't have that much to tell you guys. I mean, um, gay things to do, really, there's none. There's cruising. I was told there's one gay club. I didn't find out where it was. I was told it was kind of gross and seedy. Um, you guys can maybe do some more research on that if you want to. Um, but mostly it's just going to be cruising. Um, so, I don't have that much to tell you guys. Um, I, would I recommend Casablanca as a gay travel destination? No. Um, would I recommend Casablanca as a regular travel destination? No. <laughs> Honestly, um, I don't think it's very pretty. I don't think there's a lot to see. I've talked to several people and they told me it's also kind of unsafe. Um, personally, I, the people I've met were all really friendly and helpful, but they did say, you know, I had several people warn me, like, don't take out your cell phone in public or, you know, your camera or whatever, because people will come by and snatch it, don't carry too much money around, especially in, like, some of the older parts of the city, which I can understand because there's a lot of poverty here. Um, so in terms of gay things to do, one, um, in my rating system, in terms of PDA, PDA I'm actually going to give it a two, and the reason why is because the funny thing is even though being gay is so bad in the Muslim culture, um, they are actually, there's actually a lot more affection between two men considered acceptable than there is in the Western culture. So you'll see like two straight men. Um, like holding hands or maybe like doing the kiss on the cheek and or hugging each other and that's completely acceptable and there's also not like as much like in the western culture we have a lot of personal space when it comes to two men and here they don't have as much personal space between two men and two men will like smile at each other and like whatever but so it doesn't really mean anything which also um, if you do you guys do decide to come here or any muslim country i would say be very very careful with your cruising um, unless it's extremely obvious, then err on the side of caution is my, was my recommendation because it's very possible that they're just being friendly. Um, in terms of safety, I'll also give it a two. I mean, gay safety, probably not that high. Um, it's definitely not one of the safer countries, safer countries, one of the safer cities in the world to go. So bear that in mind if you decide to come here. Um, but like I said, I overall don't really recommend it. Um, for any of the people who watch my movie, because I know I'm going to get hate for it, because people hate hearing anything negative about anything. But the funny thing is, like, as much as I know I'm going to get hate for people saying that, you know, how can I like, say mean things about Casablanca, especially like, I'm, uh, like I got a lot of hate from local people, from like my Tirana video and from my Havana, like a lot of the Cubans were like, well, you don't know anything about Cuba and you don't know anything about Havana. And I'm kind of like, you'll get, you'll, you're willing to argument with me, but then at the same time, like my main problem with those places and my main problem here is that it's really dirty. And I'm like, you're gonna sit here and you're gonna argue with me about me saying that I didn't like this place because it's really dirty, but you won't go out and like actually do something to clean up your own city. And personally, pretty much, if a city is dirty and gross, I'm not going to like it. Because that's just, that, that's just my personal preference. Like, the only city I can think of that I actually really like that's really dirty is Los Angeles. Los Angeles is a pretty dirty city, but I still really like Los Angeles. But Casablanca, Tijuana, and Tirana are probably the three dirtiest cities I've ever seen. I mean, literally, when there's like garbage just like piled up on the streets. I saw one guy defecating in the street. I saw people like just throw garbage out of like their third or fourth story window, you know. I mean, it's really dirty, and the air quality here is like practically you can't you can practically not even breathe here. Um, 
And I'm sorry, like I don't have, I don't, I don't find there's an excuse for that. You know, you can say, oh, you know, they're poor, and I like I can say the the it's a poor country. I can take that as an excuse in terms of the infrastructure not being good, the roads are broken, the houses are falling apart. I guess, and actually, in a way, that almost gives it a kind of charm. Like in Havana, a lot of the charm of Havana is because of the fact that it is kind of deteriorating in a way, and it kind of gave it this like old world. I don't know, it just gave it kind of a charm. But the trash everywhere is not acceptable. It's just gross. I don't care if it's a poor country or not. That doesn't mean you have the right to litter or that it's acceptable to litter. That's just ignorance. I'm sorry, like, if you can, you can take your trash to the garbage. Um, so, personally, I don't think there's a lot of pretty things to see in Casablanca. It's, the, the mosque is beautiful. Um, but other than that, I can't think of a single thing that I saw here where I was like, ooh, this is something I would recommend people coming to see. Um, and I'm, I'm not saying this about Casablanca. I, like, I'm still going to Rabat and I'm going to Marrakesh. Um, I'm probably not going to review them because I also don't think there's going to be anything else to tell there. I mean, it's still the same country. It's still going to be the same rules. Um, I might leave like a little note if I think those places are cleaner or prettier than maybe Casablanca. But even I've talked to the lo some of the local people, I mean, even all of them have told me that this place is kind of, it's dirty and they have to be careful because of the crime and there's a lot of stuff going on that's not so good. So I don't feel like this is just me saying this out of nowhere and it's going to come like a total shock to people. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really know what else to tell you guys. Um, I did, and what, somebody recommended that maybe I interview people from the local community and ask them how it's going. And I did talk to one gay person and, you know, um, they were saying obviously there's a lot of problems here. They didn't really go too deep into um, the gay culture here. Um, I'm guessing there's probably not that much to say. I mean, obviously it's not acceptable. Um, also, everybody speaks French and Arabic. My French is, it's okay, but it's not amazing. Um, but, oh, I was, so I was gonna say, like I tried to get somebody in my Portugal, Portugal video to, to be on, but then he wanted affection <laughs> in return, and I was like, I'm not gonna become a whore for my YouTube channel. That's, it's not that important to me, sorry. And the guy here obviously didn't feel comfortable having his face on camera for obvious reasons. Um, so yeah, I don't really have anything else to tell you guys. Like, I don't... I would... I just don't... I'm sorry, I don't recommend coming here. And I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for that, but... It's... Oh, I did, I did a hammam, but like, like a Turkish bath. And that was kind of interesting. Um, and it's cheap. Oh, everything's really cheap. I guess I should say that. Um, so I guess that might be a perk, um, but but even the food I would say is just okay. I wouldn't say it's like amazing food, um, but again maybe it's different in other cities. Maybe in Rabat or Marrakesh I might find great food and maybe a haman that's even more amazing. Um, yeah, so we'll just see. Um, oh, hello, you mango. So hopefully you guys are doing okay. Hopefully people won't get too upset about this. Oh, the only thing, the only thing I was gonna say, of course, the one thing that of course makes it completely worth all the trouble for me is of course the beautiful Arab men, which you guys know that Arab men for me are like, mm -hmm. you know, that is that is God's gift to humanity. Like He did everything right with them. <laughs> um, but other than that. Sorry, wouldn't recommend it. Alright, um, so that's it. Bye.